What's up everybody? Welcome to Getting Ready for 4th Grade Math Like a Boss. I'm Miss McCarthy. I am your host and your teacher today. Today we are on week 4 of our 8 week course. It's going to be day 16 and it's multiplication part 1. Today we're going to be multiplying 4 digits times 1 digit. So without further ado, let me teach ya. Boss Notes! All right, everybody, these are our steps to multiply multi-digit numbers. So step one, you're going to multiply the ones place. So in your guide, in your workbook, go ahead and write the ones place in the bottom number times each place in the top number starting at the ones place. So go ahead and put in ones place there. Now, it's okay if this doesn't make sense yet, but we will be referring back to these throughout this lesson. If the product of the two digits is a two-digit number, you must regroup. But you do something special when you regroup, and that's step three. Any numbers that regroup will be added after you multiply the next set of numbers. So we're going to go ahead and take these notes and get to our first problem. Let's go. All right, here we go with the learn it section. We've got problem number one. 1,836 times three. As you can see, we're doing four digits times the one. That's what you do in fourth grade. You do up to four times one or two digits times two digits. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this. That way it is lined up vertically. You put the three right under and the correct place in the ones place. 6, so you're going to start here, sorry. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 is a two-digit number, so you're going to put the 1 up here, and I like to circle it, that way I don't forget about it, and the 8 down here. Okay, now moving on. 3 times the tens place 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and now we add the number up top. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, which is also a two-digit number there. 3 times 8 is 24, and we add what we regrouped. That would be 25, so 2 and 5 down here. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. One tens, hundreds, comma, so 5 1,508 would be your answer. All right, example two. We've got eight times 5,671. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this problem, and I like to put the greater number on top. And you can do that because with multiplication, the commutative property of multiplication states that you can put the factors in any order, and it will still come up to the same product. So let's go. So eight times 1 is 8, 8 times 7 is 56, so 5 up on the next one, 6. 8 times 6 is 48, plus 5, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Yes, I knew that. I was just trying to show you how to do it. 53, 8 times 5 is 40, plus 5 would be 45. There we go, 1's, 10's, 100. Thousands, and that makes sense because this is almost 6,000, and 6,000 times 8 would be about 48,000, so it makes sense that it's 45,368. All right. All right, people, so go ahead and push pause on this video, and I want you to solve pages, sorry, numbers 3 and 4 on your own, and then push play to see if you get them right. So go ahead, push pause. I'm watching you. Welcome back, everybody. Let's see if you got it correct. Okay, so you had 7,068 times 4. Now, I hope the first thing you did was write this vertically. And which, which uh, place did my 4 go under? Right, it goes in the 1's place underneath the 8. I'm going to put multiply out here. 
Okay, so now we do 4 times 8, which is 32. So I put a what up here? Good, a 3 and a 2, 32. Okay, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 3, 27. Good, so put the 2 over the 0 and the 7 down in the tens place. 4 times 0 is 4. So easy. 0 plus 2 is 2. And then 4 times 7 is 28. Excellent. Where does my comma go? Good. 1 cents, hundreds, comma. 28,272. Boom. Let's see how you do with number 4. All right. Last one for today. Number 4. What's my first step? Good, line them up the proper way, or at least the way that I've been teaching you. Okay, good, all right. Nine times nine is 81. Nine times two is 18, and 18 plus eight. Good, 26, 26. 9 times 7 is 63, and 63 plus 2 is 65, so 60 and then 5. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. Excellent. 1's, 10's, 100's, comma, 42,561. ba boom Today's B message is to be resourceful like a boss. This is one of my favorite things to practice because a person who is resourceful is able to look quickly around at their surroundings and figure their way out of a problem, usually in a creative way. So be looking around you, seeing what tools you have available to you. Most times we have everything that we need to get out of the problem. We can't go into you know, the mode of, when I'm in a problem and I can't, I can't get out, wah, wah, wah. no, you need to be resourceful, be looking for a way out to solve it um, appropriately. So that's what I want you to try to work on, being resourceful, being creative. And with that, I will catch you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Get in strong.